I want to walk to that tree, but I'll never get there because to get there, first I have to walk halfway there. Then I have to walk half of the remaining distance. Then I have to walk half of the remaining distance and so on and so on. There is, there's an infinite number of steps. I can't walk an infinite number of steps in a finite amount of time, so I'll never reach the tree. How in the world did I get here? This is Zeno's paradox. Fermi's paradox is, where is everybody? In the summer of 1950, New York City trash cans were going missing. And the New Yorker magazine published this cartoon of aliens taking trash cans back to their home planet and then unloading them onto their home planet. And notice they say DSNY, which stands for the Department of Sanitation, New York. Now, having seen the cartoon, Enrico Fermi and colleagues over lunch were joking about extraterrestrials. And then suddenly Fermi said, where is everybody? <laughs> and the other physicists laughed because they knew that he was referring to aliens. They should be here. Where are they? Why aren't they here? This has be become known as Fermi's paradox. Why did he say that? And what is the paradox? Well, let's suppose that this is our galaxy. Like other galaxies, it's about 100,000 light years across. Now, if we could make rocket ships, and we will be able to do this soon, that go about a tenth the speed of the light, then we can ask how much time to go from one end to the other of the galaxy. Well, time is distance divided by velocity, 100,000 light years divided by one tenth the speed of light, and it turns out it takes about a million years to go from one end of the galaxy to the other. Makes sense. What about the age of the galaxy? It's about 10 billion years old, or 10 to the 10 years. How many times can you cross the galaxy in 10 to the 10 years? How many times n? Well, it's 10 to the 10 divided by 10 to the 6 that it takes you to get across, and you get 10 to the 5 times. So you have plenty of time to colonize the entire galaxy, many times over. How many times over? 10,000 times. No. This is 10,000? No, 10 to the 4 is 10. 10 to the 5th, that's 100,000. You can go back and forth 100,000 times. That's a lot of colonization potential as out there for anything that evolved here or here or here or here or here. Somebody would do it, right? But there haven't been. Uh, when we dig up our history, we do not see signs of colonization. We see signs of our own history. When we listen with radio telescopes, we just hear silence. And that's why where is everybody becomes an interesting question. Hello. Now, there are about 100 billion such galaxies in the observable universe, and this makes the paradox more compelling. Multiply how compelling it was for our galaxy times 100 billion. But Fermi is making some questionable assumptions about life. He's making the assumption that life is common and also that human-like intelligence is common. Where human-like intelligence is more or less the ability to make rocket ships and radio telescopes. Now, we talked about Simon Conway Morris, and he believed that human beings are inevitable once you have life. Now, if you believe that once life exists, human-like intelligence is inevitable, then the only possible solution to the Fermi paradox is life must be rare, in which case civilizations are far apart, hence the lack of contact so far. But I think a more plausible solution to Fermi's paradox is that life is common, but human-like intelligence is a thing that's rare, or as I have argued, species-specific, which might be even less than rare, maybe a set of me uh, measure zero. In any case, if you're interested in the Fermi paradox, Stephen Webb in 1999 wrote a book, Where is Everybody?, with 50 solutions. And then, about uh, 16 years later, he wrote another book updated with 75 solutions. So there are lots of solutions to Fermi's paradox. Here are a few of them in order of what I think are the most likely. Extraterrestrial human-like intelligence is rare or non-existent. That would solve the silence. 
Extraterrestrial life is too alien to recognize. Extraterrestrial life is rare or non-existent. Civilizations destroy themselves. Colonization is not what civilizations do. We're in a cosmic zoo with orders not to be interfered with. We haven't listened properly or long enough. Everyone is listening, but no one is transmitting. We are the first. Aliens are already here, but are unacknowledged. These are solutions to Fermi's paradox. Read the books for many, many more. Oh, aliens, where are you? We need you to solve our paradoxes. Be patient, humanity. We are coming. But how will you ever get here? First you have to get halfway to us, then you'll have to go half the remaining distance, then half the remaining distance. It's an infinite series. Ah, uh, something has come up. We need to rearrange our sock drawers. We'll come back in a thousand years. But how can you ever get here? A half plus a quarter plus an eighth plus a sixteenth plus a thirty second plus a sixty fourth plus a hundred twenty eight plus a five hundred and twelve plus a one thousand twenty fourth plus a two thousand forty and it goes on and on. It's an infinite series. Ah, uh, yeah. Our sock drawer is very complicated. We'll come back in tick, 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 a million years. Hang tight till then. Oh, aliens.